hey and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm very excited to show you this makeup look that i'm going to be creating or shall i say recreating this is the makeup look i'm going to be doing and let's get started first things first i'm going to get started with my skin logic spf protect 40 this stuff is absolutely amazing it makes your skin tacky so you are able to use it as a primer absolutely love it and it's beneficial for your skin too after about 30 seconds or so i'll grab my makeup revolution baking oil love 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 this stuff it is amazing and it smells so good i'll be using this as a primer on top of the spf next i'll be grabbing my kangle throwing shade contour palette and i'll be grabbing the lightest contour shade this is a cream contour so it is going to blend in beautifully Using a flat concealer brush, I'm going to be applying it to my forehead, the hollows of my cheeks and my jawline. This is going to be placed in where the smaller portion of the shoelaces are going to go because I want to add depth to this part of my skin to make it kind of look a little bit darker. And then I'll be blending it out using a foundation brush. Grabbing my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation in the shade F4. I'm going to be applying this basically all over my entire face. I did it in very small portions because this does dry out a little bit. So yeah, I basically just uh, blend it in circular motions using a flat foundation brush. Grabbing my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, I'm going to be applying this to the inner corner and just the outer corner of my eye. And this technique actually makes your eyes look more lifted, less aged. Using that same concealer, I'm going to be tapping it onto my eyelids as an eyeshadow primer. And the best thing I've ever learned was to tap it on and let it get tacky. It works like a charm. Then I'm going to be grabbing my Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and grabbing that shade. And I'm going to be creating a V shape on the one eye. I'm going to be grabbing my Makeup Revolution Tammy palette, grabbing the shade right here, and I'm going to be using that just to darken out those outer corners and also to make that eye look a lot more snatched, which I love. Love this palette, by the way. Love it. Still using my Makeup Revolution Tammy palette, I'm going to be grabbing this lighter shade and I'm going to be applying that all over the lids. Using my white grease paint by Cryolan, I'm going to be using this on the inner corner of my eyes and dragging it into just the middle of my eyelid. I'll also be setting my eye using this powder and it actually makes it waterproof and easy to work with cream paints. Next I'll be grabbing my Cryolan cream paint in black and I'll be using this to create a kind of eyeliner look but a super super cut crease eyeliner. You'll see exactly what I'm doing shortly. The reason why I chose to use a cream paint rather than an eyeliner was because the cream paint actually dries down really, really well and it's a super, super, super black, which is what I'm looking for. I'm now going to be painting the outer corners of my eyes and bringing it about halfway in, not completely touching the white. Going back to my Makeup Revolution Tammy palette, I'm going to be using the black shade and I'm going to be blending in between the black and the white so it's a very, very seamless blend. Taking my black gel liner, I'm now going to be applying this to the waterline and to the tight line. This technique will just give my eye a lot more of a bolder look and make it look a lot more dramatic, which is kind of what we're going for, right? For the brows, I'm going to be taking this dark shade here and everyone's been asking me to do a brow tutorial, so here we go. I'm going to be applying a very, very, very thin line midway and then arching it down onto the edges, bringing it not all the way into the to the front of the eyebrow and kind of just getting that very very nice shape then I'm going to be filling it in using a upward stroke motion and then for the front just flicking it upwards and creating hairline strokes grabbing my kiss beauty cream eyeliner I'm going to be mapping out exactly where I want the shoelaces to go 
well the base of the shoelaces at least um, so you'll see me just trying to sketch it out figure out exactly where I'm gonna put it and a little bit of a pro tip you if you want a straight line to appear as you're looking forward you need to make those lines very 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 dramatically curved because when you look in the mirror and you look forward those lines will appear straight just a little bit of a pro tip Going back in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation, I'm going to be filling in all these little pieces that you see here. I want them to pop, so they need to be a lot lighter than the skin underneath. So you'll see me filling it in now. I don't want to say anything, cause if I do, I might say the wrong words. Oh no. So keep my mouth grabbing my makeup revolution contour palettes i'm going to be grabbing the shade here and i'm going to be using this shade to actually make shadows which is my favorite technique so i'll be applying it very 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 closely to those lines and then taking that flat brush and dragging it outwards so then it has kind of like a shadow feature technique feature Taking the darker shade in my brow kit, I will be applying that with a very, very, very thin brush into the deepest curves of this mask. As you'll see, I will choose different parts of it. I want it to really, really look like it's standing out of my face. Love doing this technique. It's so much fun. Going back in with that Cryolin grease paints, I'm going to be creating highlights of the corners of the face and kind of making it look like it's a tad bit shiny, but mainly on the edges of this mask. Grabbing my Garnier Missile Water and a mini Q-tip, I'm going to be removing some of the makeup. So I'll be taking the tip of the Q-tip, applying it to the part where the shoelaces will be coming out and twisting the Q-tip so it removes that makeup underneath. To make sure that I'm sticking to the shape, I'm going to be using another miniature Q-tip using my cream paint by Cryolin, which is in black, and doing the same thing but stamping on the black into those little holes that we basically created with the missile water. Going back in with our grease paint, now we're going to be creating shoelaces. You'll see different ways that I've done it. I've done it upside down, inside out, a whole bunch of different ways that you can do it. This is where you want to be creative and be fun and play around with how you want those shoelaces to lay. Now I'm going to be creating some shadows and some details using that same black cream paint and basically outlining exactly where I've put the white shoelaces but very 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 finely now creating the aglet of the shoelace which is the tip of the shoelace i'm basically just going to be taking the black doing a line across and then doing two lines down leaving the one end completely bare Going back in with that cream paint, I'm going to be applying a black lipstick using a very, very fine brush onto the one side of the lips. And on the other side, I'm going to be using a red lip liner and a red lipstick to fill in the rest of the lips. And finally for some final details, I will be applying some of this Makeup Revolution highlighter onto the larger portion of the face. And just like that, this makeup look is completed. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any requests for makeup, please let me know. You can message me on Instagram. And also don't forget to subscribe and follow all my other social medias. I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon.